Good morning, ladies. Today is Wednesday, May 27th. We're on module 10 lesson, or I'm sorry, module 8, lesson 10. Your learning target says I can partition circles and rectangles into equal parts and describe those parts as halves, thirds, or fourths. So we're going to focus on circles and rectangles and partitioning or breaking up them into halves, thirds, and fourths. So, first one, let's do a rectangle. And I'll draw my circle, we'll do that next. So we'll start off with halves. So we're gonna do thirds, and we're gonna do fourths as well. So, to split up a rectangle in half, you just have to make sure that your two parts are equal. So, you could split it right down the middle. So this half and this half, they're still equal. You just split them into two, they're two halves. And then if you put them back together again, you would have a whole, which actually I have those little papers we had. So, just like our paper, remember you put it together, it's one, as you can see there. One half, one half. Okay, so you have two halves. One here, one here. Two halves, put it together, it's one whole. So that's what we did with the rectangle now the circle would be the same thing but let's just switch it up and you could split it this way and that would still be um you'd have two halves or one whole this is a half and this is a half so that's two one two halves or one whole now if i had a circle and i wanted to split it up could i split it like that no that wouldn't work because look at how little this piece is this half is compared to this. That's not split equally. You always want to split it up into equal halves, equal parts. So now next, let's do thirds. And we'll do fourths because I think we have room. And I will get out these papers that I have. So remember, I cut them into thirds, they're equal parts. So this is a whole right now. And then when you cut them, this is three thirds because you have one, two, three thirds. That's how we split them up or one whole. So you could split this rectangle up in thirds like this so they're equal parts and I would fix that just a little bit that's so not exact that's better so that's one two three thirds or if you put it together it would make one whole so three thirds could equal one whole that's how you would write it three thirds which equals one whole for your circle, I have to split it up like this, so it's even. But that would be the same thing. So if I shaded all of this in, and we practice what we did yesterday, I would have one, two, three colored in. Three for my denominator, because that's the total amount of parts I have, and three over three is gonna give you one whole. Your whole circle is colored in. So next, we'll go to fourths, and I know I'm moving fast. Um, I'm going to give you time to practice this after. I think that this is something you'll get quickly. Um, if not, of course, always reach out, but I think you ladies got it. So fourths, I'm going to draw it this way. One, two, three, four. 
And you can overdo it if you want. It's just visually so you can see what I did to split it. So before we count those, that's one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, or one whole because they're all colored in and they're all together. So that's four fourths. Ooh. So now let's go to our picture. And if we color all of these in, that would be four fours, because there's four colored in and there's four total, and that would equal one whole. So for your circle, it's going to be the same thing. We're just splitting it up into fourths. So I split it up into my four pieces. It's a little better. Um, you could color these in. So one, two, three, four. So you know you have a total of four. Four pieces are colored in. Four fourths is how we would say that and it would be equal to one whole okay so now i'm going to draw a couple for you ladies to practice so for your practice all you're going to do is draw circles and rectangles which is what our learning target focused on today and i just want you to practice drawing so in this one you're going to draw two thirds so remember your bottom number is going to tell you how many um, parts you have total your top number is telling you how many you're coloring in and you can always just practice extra I just gave you some ideas but go ahead and practice extra this is fun you could it's kind of like coloring right so make it fun draw maybe you want to try it in different shapes okay so we only focused on circles and um, rectangles but maybe you want to try triangles so try to draw um, your one half two thirds one fourth, one third. So try to draw those, break those up, and let us know how you do. All right, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, ladies. Oh, also, of course, go on Zoom and practice.